After COVID-19, global hunger increased. And in the past three years, hunger levels have remained at those high levels, almost unchanged. Improvements have been uneven and insufficient. And in some regions, deterioration has continued. According to new State of Food Security and Nutrition in the World figures, 2023 has witnessed improvement only in some regions. This means that food insecurity and malnutrition continue to worsen in many countries around the world. New figures estimate that between 713 and 757 million people may have faced hunger in 2023. This represents one out of 11 people in the world and one out of every five in Africa. While hunger is still on the rise in Africa, it has remained relatively unchanged in Asia and notable progress has been made in Latin America. These improvements are driven by South America, where 5.4 million fewer people faced hunger in 2023 compared to 2021. Progress towards the broader goal of ensuring regular access to adequate food for all has also stalled. Nearly 29% of the global population, 2.3 billion people, were moderately or severely food insecure in 2023. Globally, access to nutritious food still remains a challenge, with more than one-third of people in the world, about 2.8 billion, unable to afford healthy diets. Improvements on stunting, wasting and exclusive breastfeeding lay the groundwork for children to achieve their full potential for growth and development. But progress on these three indicators has still been too slow to reach the 2030 targets. At the same time, rising rates of obesity foreshadow major challenges for the health and well-being of all age groups. New approaches to financing will be crucial to ending hunger, food insecurity and malnutrition in all its forms. Innovative, inclusive and equitable solutions are needed to scale up financing for food security and nutrition. To boost finance productivity for food security and nutrition, stakeholders must enhance coordination and consensus for better targeting, increase donor and global partner involvement in risk-taking and de-risking activities, and implement more blended and innovative financing solutions.